Industry Insider coming to you from Ormi 2013. We're here at the Curve Bar. Joining me, Nairi, how are you? Very well, very cold. You're looking amazing, though. Oh, thanks. Cold and amazing. <laughs> try. Yeah? Try. How's, uh, how, how, how was last night? I enjoyed the performance. I thought it was fantastic. I think uh, everyone else enjoyed it in there. How did you feel up on the stage? Was, you know, that was amazing. Really good. We'd, we've had such a massive week. I think we've just been rehearsing for that one particular moment, so... By the time we got on stage, it was like, okay, relax, yeah. we do the show. And um, yeah, it was incredible. It's always nice to get together with those ladies. And, yeah. yeah. Now, just to clarify, that was the Barefoot Divas who opened All Me last night that uh, Nairi is a part of, uh, one of six. Mm -hmm. Well, more, actually. There's a whole band behind you as well. So one yeah. of about, you've got the band. Like you, 12. There's something. a big crew that puts that show together. Yeah, there is actually. We've got Vicky Gordon, who's the producer of the show and puts everything together, um, go, goes out and gets the money. And um, Alana, who writes the whole show. Um, and the, the band are just incredible, just an incredible bunch of musicians. And yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Um, where does that cross over into what you do as a, as a solo artist? Because you, you've got Lamentations is out right now. Mm -hmm. So where, where, where did that come into play, Barefoot Divas, in your career? You're going to edit this, aren't you? I can. Yeah. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> no, what, no, what I mean is, maybe I'll ask the question wrong. What, yeah. what I mean is, is that you as a solo artist, yes. where were you brought into that project, The Barefoot Divas? Where does that... I, the first time I did The Barefoot Divas was about two, I think about three years ago now. Yeah. Um, so it was a bit of a work in progress. We went through a whole bunch of other women just to work out which women worked better together yeah. um, as a group. Um, but yeah, it was before, it was definitely before the album came out, so, yeah. um, we've been doing it for a while. Mm. Now let's talk a little bit <clears throat> more about you as a solo artist. Take, take through your history for people that don't know who you are and what you do. Well, uh, I am based in Sydney, um, and I guess the type of music that I do is classified as future soul or future folk, yeah. um, if that. Um, and yeah, I've been doing it for about seven years now, and it's only just now that I've you know, released my first ever album, which is such a relief, you know, to know that you actually achieved that. Um, but um, yeah, I've just been around the traps, touring with bands like Blue King Brown and Paul Mac, and just um, learning as much as I can from those kind of people. Is Paul Mac behaving himself? Just. Just? Are you just, behaving yourself, Paul? Just, he will he's never, a cheeky boy. he's such a cheeky boy, he will never get old, he's just <laughs> like stuck in that, you know, and I love Paul, he's like one of my favourite people ever, um, and I, I've just learnt so, so many incredible things from him, and I think being able to be paired up with him at such a young age, and to be able to learn from him was such an incredible honour yeah. as well.